personally, my message to anyone who wants to listen to what I have to say is that I believe that it is a step in the right direction. I sat through too many of those closing the gap speeches in Parliament to sense that what we were doing was working to close the disparity and the inequality between Indigenous and non-Indigenous populations. In some instances, the key measures were getting worse, not better. So it's not a question of money, it's not a question of politicians coming up with policies, it's a question of giving Indigenous people the franchise to make decisions to implement policies that will work. We've got to give it a chance. Daniel Hurst from The Guardian. Uh, Dan Daniel Hurst from Guardian Australia on the same topic, given you were Deputy Liberal Leader for 11 years. Are you disappointed that the party under Peter Dutton is actively campaigning for no? And Liberal Party supporters will have heard um, the party saying this is risky, it's divisive, it's Orwellian, we'll re-racialise Australia. Are you uh, disappointed by that sort of rhetoric and what measures of reassurance would you offer to Liberal Party supporters about their uh, ability to support this? Daniel, the complexity of this matter is exacerbated by the fact that there is not agreement within Indigenous communities and I'm well aware that there are two leading Indigenous leaders on opposite sides of the case. So you have Noel Pearson, Warren Mundine. I think that confuses people. And the challenge for this referendum, and I needn't spell it out to this room because you all understand, is that the more complex the issue, the less bipartisan it is, the less likely it is to succeed. We've had something like 44 referenda in this country, only eight have succeeded. I believe all eight had bipartisan support. They were kind of no-brainers, like um, giving Indigenous people the vote. And so the more complex it is and the less um, bipartisan it is, the less likely it is to meet that very high standard of a majority of votes in a majority of states. We've even had referenda that have won the yes vote but have lost on the majority of states benchmark. So I don't express emotions these days about what goes on in politics. I'm not excited. I'm not disappointed. I'm um, pragmatic about the choices that political parties take. My position as private citizen Julie Bishop and as Chancellor Bishop and Chairman is uh, to support the yes case for I believe that many Indigenous people whom I respect greatly have put a lot of thought into this and they believe that it is a step in the right direction. No one's claiming that it's going to end inequality and disparity, but surely we have to try something that comes from Indigenous people themselves. Will private citizen Julie Bishop actively be campaigning out there for yes? I thought private citizen Julie Bishop... Why do I have to talk about myself in the third person? <laughs> I have just said yes. to the National Press Club yes. my position. That's about as public as I get these days. <laughs>